The ruling All Progressives Congress, APC, has been organizing its congresses nationwide. However, the exercise so far has been plagued by violence, reports of parallel congresses, and several irregularities. Now, two federal lawmakers, Senator Magnus Abbey, APC Rivers, and Senator Kabiru Marafa, APC Zamfara, have raised concerns about the exercise so far. Saturday, 12th of May, uh, was the date fixed by APC for local government congresses. And uh, as a party man and a politician, uh, I drove to my local government headquarters where <coughs> the event was supposed to take place. On reaching there, I met a uh, uh, massive, you know, security build-up comprising of a mobile police, policemen, uh, civil defense, and everything. <clears throat> and uh, before I left, I learned the area commander was there. So I moved and asked one of the policemen where the area commander was, and uh, I was directed to a place. Before. I could turn around. There was an APC uh, vehicle, this time not APC political party, but I'm not a uh, personal career. They all put there. <coughs> and uh, I asked where the area commander was. Uh, they said uh, they could not see him. Before I knew it, uh, one of my mobile policemen was uh, manhandled by another. They held him by the collar, by the belt, and everything. So I moved forward to ask uh, what is the problem. Before I know it, they uh, throw tear gas just right in front of me and in front of another uh, distance. So in a nutshell, the mobile policeman was manhandled, harassed, and uh, disarmed. My orderly was equally disarmed. So I tried to ask what the problem is, but they were just busy throwing tear gas and everything. Uh, the whole thing is just to stop me from uh, organizing or conducting uh, my own local government uh, congress. Uh, but the beauty of it is uh, the world has seen what happened and uh, the world has uh, seen that the state government lack uh, confidence of the people because that is why there was that massive uh, police or security uh, build up. If you are uh, popular and uh, in politics, you don't need uh, any security agent uh, to uh, help you organize your own. But uh, my deductions are, <clears throat> like I said, uh, one, the state government has lost uh, popularity and touch with the people. So they are afraid of elections. Because what I simply ask was let this, prime, uh, this congresses be conducted as and how it is being uh, uh, dictated by, by, let us follow our guidelines. You will recollect that I briefed the press before the World Congresses in River State, where I stated publicly that the confusion that was deliberately being set in River State was nothing other than an attempt to display the raw power of man and to destroy and exclude all those who have expressed disagreement with the leader of the party in River State. The South South Caucus of the party had met before the World Congresses at the home of the Minister of Transportation and the leader of the party in River State, the Right Honorable Chibike Rotimiya Mechi. And at that meeting, it was directed that certain steps should be taken by the leaders in all the states in the South South to be before the Congresses should begin. First, it was agreed that an all-inclusive meeting be called between Thursday and Friday preceding the World Congresses. The meeting was to include all tendencies in the party and the modalities for Congresses should be discussed and agreed upon. It was also directed that the Congress Committee from Abuja should equally meet with all stakeholders on arrival and be briefed on the arrangements and agreements already reached in the state. In the case of River State, none of this was done. Rather, a faction of the party led by the minister proceeded with the exercise in total disdain of the rights and privileges of other members. Party members who had paid money to the party were blatantly disenfranchised. Now this is where we draw the curtains on this week's edition of The Gavel.
If you have any views on any of the issues discussed, please email us on the gavel at channelcv.com. Thank you for staying with us and see you again next week.